I hate your deck. Wizards of the West Coast. Tapping out and slinging spells. Shenanigans will ensue in this no holds barred EDH show. Each month, we'll highlight a new commander deck that you get to see pop off in a glorious fashion. Now meet our players for this month's game. What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Joe Johnson, aka Black Nito, and today I am playing Safara Mono White Pure Jank. I think this deck is valued at like 30 bucks, and I'm gonna try to kill somebody with a Suntail Hawk. Yo, it's your boy Lynch. I'm back with Tulane, Teller of Tales, because you guys at home told me to play Tulane, so we're bringing the heat today with some Tulane action. And like always, I'm here at the commander table because I love playing paper magic with friends at the table. I'm David. Last time I played Seton, I'm playing it again, but last time I was 13. I was, I was a boy, I wasn't a man. Now I'm 14, I'm a man, and I'm gonna beat these guys. My name is Barry. I brought a boon today. Love to take a pre-con deck and really spice it up. Show people its true potential. I hate your deck. Let's roll to see who goes first. High roll goes first. That's a three. Five. I got a seven. Eight. Oh, down oh. coach. All right, David, take this away, brother. All right, draw. And then I'm gonna play a forest for my turn. And I'm gonna play a Yanwar Elves. I can tap it for one green mana, but not yet. And I'll pass. Draw. Land for turns of Misty Rainforest. I'm gonna pop that now. I'm gonna tap it, pay a life, sacrifice it, get something forest related. All right, it's turn one. Let's play a Plains. I'll tap that for a Lantern Kami. It is a 1 1 flying spirit creature. Not bad, a little spicy. Yeah, spicy. All right, I'll draw for turn. I will play a forest. I'll tap that forest. I will play a Birds of Paradise, and I will pass my turn. Everybody with the turn one plays. Yeah. So Birds of Paradise taps for one mana of any color to my mana pool. Not nice. everyone, but I'll get there. <laughs> <laughs> I'll draw for the turn. I will play a Forest for the turn. And for three mana, I will cast my commander, Seton, Crows and Protector. I can tap an untapped Druid I control, and I can add a green mana. Because this is an untapped druid that I control, I will tap it for one green mana and play Sylvan Tutor. I can search my library for a creature card and put reveal that card. And then I'll shuffle my library and put that card on the top. All right, All David right, is going doing off. There's <laughs> your 14 year old coming with the heat today. Mono green things. It's like, I ain't trying to lose today. <laughs> <laughs> that one year difference is coming to play, huh, David? I'm going to get Allosaurus Shepherd. Dead. Checks out. Yeah, That's a put card. Put it on top of my life. That's a card. <laughs> that is a hell of a card, David. Somewhere to dump all that mana. Something to watch out for. Oh, we make all of his elves huge dinosaurs right, in addition you know. to their type? That's not bad. I mean, they're just dinosaurs with pointy ears. I'll pass. <laughs> <laughs> Tap. Keep draw. I will cast, for one green mana, Exploration. That's an enchantment. I can now play an additional land each turn. I will play... Arid Mesa as my first land for turn, and I will play Plain Old Mountain as my second land for turn. Tapping, paying another life, sacrificing, and getting something mountain or plains related. How about this plateau? That Ooh. should do. I'll pass turn. All right, all right. Let's untap. Let's draw a card for turn. And I'm going to play another plains. And for one, I will tap it, and I'll play a Battlefield Raptor, a flying first strike, one, two, crazy bird. Y'all don't want to get hit with this. First strike is dangerous. First strike is dangerous. And then I'll play for one more white, a Kite Sail Cleric. as a one, one core cleric flying. Uh, he has a kicker of three. I didn't pay it, but if he enters the battlefield, if it was kicked, tap up to two target creatures. Uh, and my lantern, Kami, can swing, and uh, I only see you over there with that flyer, Lynch. You gonna block with it? Nah, take a lantern, Kami. One? <laughs> Just one. Lose one. <laughs> and that's all I got, I'll pass. Right. I untap, I draw for turn. <laughs> so it begins, my friends. Planes. I'm going to tap two to cast a Cryptolith right. Mm. I'm gonna tap my birds. And I'll cast a Findhorn Elves, which can tap for one green. And my clip to the right says, creatures you control have, add one mana of any color to your mana pool. Oh, nice. So they're all birds of paradise. They are. <laughs> yeah. And I will pass to David. Uh, well, you shouldn't have done that. Well, I'll untap, 
and I'll draw my Allosaurus Shepherd, which I got on my previous turn. I'll play a forest for the turn. And with that forest, I will play an Allosaurus Shepherd. Allosaurus Shepherd can't be countered, and green spells I control can't be countered. And for six mana, until the end of the turn, each elf creature I control has base power up 5-5 five, five, and becomes a dinosaur in addition to its other types. For three mana, I'm going to cast Fierce Empath, and what that says, when that enters the battlefield, I'm going to search my library for a creature card with converted mana cost six or greater. Reveal it and put it into my hand. Is he grabbing Crater Hoof? I'm, I'm pretty sure that's, that's the hoof. I don't think so. <laughs> no? Oh, what really? do you think he's grabbing? It's going to be a more nuanced approach. If I had to take a guess, Regal Force. He's going to draw himself a fresh five cards when he casts that bad boy. I'm going to get Regal Force. Barry right. was right. He was right. I, I'm, I'm a victim of domestic abuse. Uh, <laughs> when we play this at home, I, I can get out from under maybe two out of five games, but... That's currently my what? second favorite. He abuses so me when with this he stuff. That's entered awesome. the battlefield, draw a card for, for each green creature. creature. This goes into my hand, but he I will He usually beats me with Seton early. He's passed. Untap, upkeep, draw. Trying to make friends here. It's a merciful god. I will play Could my first land for turn. Okay. Uh, tapping this for white, tapping this for a green mana, tapping this for a red mana, and this for a colorless mana, I'm gonna cast the boon. Makes my sense. My commander. Nice. I'm I'll let it resolve <laughs> with my green mana. <laughs> oh, I guess I can tap for anything. I appreciate that because I don't have that Allosaurus protection over there. I'm going to play my second land for turn. It's a Rith's Grove, not something you see very often. It's a layer. Uh, when it comes into play, I have to sacrifice it unless I return a non-layer land that I control to my hand. I'll just return this mountain to my hand. Uh, when that comes in, it triggers the landfall ability of a boon. Every time I drop a land, he gets a 1-1 one, one counter, plus 1, plus 1 counter. Um, now going to move to combat. And at the beginning of combat, I can make up to one target land that I control become an XX elemental creature with trample and haste. X being a boon's power. Still a land. His power is only 4 for now. I will make Rith's Grove a 4-4 four, four, trample, haste, elemental creature, and declare it as an attacker. On you, my son. No. <laughs> this is abuse. I... Father-son rivalry I know, coming right? into play, and I hate your deck. I don't like. I this. hate his deck. I gotta <laughs> tell you. He yes. took the four. Small, small sense of satisfaction. I passed to you, Joe. All right, all right. Let's untap. Man, y'all boards are getting a little scary out here. Let me see if I can get something. All right. Well, got a plane, so that's good. I'm gonna tap two for a Welkin Hawk. <laughs> Uh, it's a bird. Uh, if a Welkin Hawk is put into any graveyard from play, I may search my library for a Welkin Hawk card, but it's EDH and I can only have one, so it's just gonna die. But I do have four creatures out, and so uh, Safari's so ability says I may pay uh, one white and tap four untapped creatures I control in, uh, in a, to pay for her, her cost instead of paying. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap four white creatures, paying the one, and I'll play Oof. Safara, Sky's Blade. Uh, she is a flying lifelink 7-7. Seven, seven. Other creatures I control with flying have indestructible. Had to, had to, had to get, it, get it going. Y'all got it going over there too, so I had to get it going. A little scurry. I untap, <laughs> I draw for turn. I will play a land for turn. I'm gonna tap one forest. I'll tap that for blue. I'll cast Kinnon. Oof. Uh, Kinnon Bonder Prodigy, whenever you tap a non-land permanent for mana, add one mana of any type to that permanent produced. Uh, I can also pay five colorless, a green and a blue, look at the top five cards in my library, and I may put a non-human creature card from among them onto the battlefield, put the rest at the bottom in the, uh, at random order. Uh, tap two, and tap the, the birds for two, and I'm going to cast Smothering Tide. Smothering Tide reads, whenever an opponent draws a card, that player may pay two. If the player doesn't, create a colorless treasure artifact uh, token that says sacrifice this artifact, add one mana of any color. And with Kinnon out, that'll give me two mana of any color. Things are getting heavy, boys. Yeah, and you got the altar sleeve on there, too. That's nice. Altar sleeve with inside, dragon on the out. Hey. And I pass my turn. And then tap. Are you going to pay? Yes, the draw tide? first. Well, I'll draw. <laughs> Hmm. No, I won't pay. I get a treasure. Oh, you get a little Bruno Mars treasure. Bruno Mars. <laughs> I'm going to play a forest for my turn, and I'm going to tap 
five mana and play Green Sun Zenith. Mm -hmm. I'm going to search my library for a green creature card with convert a mana cost X or less, in this case four or less, mm -hmm. and I will put it onto the battlefield. And then I'll shuffle my library and this I'll shuffle Green Sun Zenith back in there. I feel like it. this has happened to you before. This time I tutor out of it. No, it's the gift that keeps on giving. And so is that darn thing. So that's, that's going right in the battlefield? Card. Yep, that's what Straight the sun the says. Green Sun Zenith puts it right in the battlefield. Okay. Well, I can tap her, and I can add an amount of green to my mana pool equal to the devotion to green. So each green mana in the mana cost it goes to my devotion. So you have seven. Wow. He's got seven. summoning sickness, but because of Seton, he it's still gets druid. one out of it. So that's my library with the green sun zenith somewhere in there, and I'll pass. All right, so untap. Are you I'm nervous over there? Now it's making me nervous. <laughs> are you uh, paying not... the two for Smothering Tide? Let's see, I don't think I can afford that. There's too much to do right now. No, <laughs> the answer is no. All right, I, I get a treasure. See what I can do you here. Should board wipe. Or yes. not. <laughs> I like that idea. You're gonna give him the game if you, you board wipe. Put a bird on it. You sure? Put a bird on it. That's uh, it, it's one one. Play is to play my land for turn, throw in a little plus one, plus one counter on my boy, a boon. I am going to have to foretell a spell. So foretell allows me to exile this card, cast it later for its foretell cost. Mm. The card is exiled. Let's put that on the back burner. I'll bring it out for you guys later. Something spicy you can all experience. With that, Joe, I think I'm gonna go to combat. Well, I can't touch you with my five five. You I mean, if looking. you want to make me get some, gain some life, I mean, I'm, I'm cool with that. The beginning of combat, I am going to um, make my Rith's Grove a five five trample but I'm not gonna attack with the land. I'm gonna keep my land open. Okay. I will attack with a boon though, my commander. I'm gonna move a boon into you once again, David. No. <laughs> attack the other mana guy. He makes mana too. I have two cards in hand though. I have three. Five, that's five to my face. And I will take a boon. Five commander, commander damage. damage. Pass you turn. Be okay. You can be okay. Ugh, it All hurts. Right. Untap my indestructible birds for the moment. I like it. Super blockers. I'm gonna play another planes. I'm gonna tap three for a Sky Hunter Skirmisher. Ouch. A one one flying double strike cat knight. So, you know, I got and did you cats on, are you paying for this mother? Oh time? yeah, you can take this one at time. I'm I'm not gonna pay for it. I that. hate your deck, but I love your cats. <laughs> I love your cats. I can think I can take the lady out to to dinner. So um yeah, Lynch, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna come at you again, man. Seven in the air, flying lifelink. Lynch, you gotta do something about that. That command. I don't know, I'm gonna have to figure out what I can do with that. And I gain seven, and then that is seven commander damage. That's gonna be my turn. All right, I'll untap for turn. See what I can do that can get you guys with this card. Will it be a good card? I will go ahead and play that card. I'm going to tap this for two blue, green, planes, and yeah, one more. So I will cast my commander, Chulain, Teller of Tales. He's got Vigilance, he's at 2-4. Whenever you cast a creature spell, draw a card. Then you may put a land card from your hand onto the battlefield. I'm gonna go ahead and tap my bird for two white, and I'll tap uh, a forest. I will cast a creature card, Mirror Entity. It's a changeling. Because I casted a, a creature spell, I will draw a card. All my creatures uh, add mana to my mana pool because of Cryptolith Rite, so I will tap Kinnon for um, two white, and I will cast Sunscape Familiar. It's a wall, it can't attack, but green spells and blue spells cost me one less. Because it's a creature, I will draw a card. Oof, the heat is I know, on. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> So I'll pull out, I'll and leave one, I'll leave, Even when yes. you sack them? This is whenever you tap a non-land permanent. Because you tap it, yeah. you still tap sack. it to sack it. I have four floating mana, and I'll cast Aura Shard. So whenever a creature comes into play under my control, I may destroy a target artifact or enchantment. Okay, I still have a white green floating. I'm casting Food Chain with oh. the, the two floating, and it's one less due to the Sunscape Familiar. Oh. Oof. Okay. Oof. 
Remove a creature you control from the game. Add X mana any color your mana pool, where X is remove creatures converted mana cost plus one. This may spend on creatures spells. Now, with that said, I have no cards in hand. Right. Smothering Tide should have been a Rhystic study. So yes, it so. should have been a Rhystic study. I wish it was a Rhystic study. No cards in hand, and I don't have the ability to do any shenanigans yet. Y'all see that, though. That's, that's, a, that's yeah. a bullseye right there. <laughs> Pass to our boy David. Well, what you got, David? What you got? I'm going to untap, and I'm going to draw. I'm going to play the Wirewood Lodge, which I got from our friendly Joe Johnson over hey. here. And I can add a colorless, but I can also pay a green and untap target elf. I'm going to tap for, I believe, seven. But five, you didn't six, pay for the seven. Southern Tide, right? No, I did not. I will add seven mana and play the big scary tree Regal Force. And because I have six creatures on the battlefield, I will draw six. And are you gonna pay Smothering Tide for those? Oh, no. I will not pay the Okay, smothering. so I'm getting six Smothering Tides. Six little Bruno Marses. One. <laughs> Bruno Mars! A lot of, that's a lot of treasure. Oh, we need to get Bruno Mars to be a sponsor. You oh, know? That was live. Give us a song, Bruno. Can he play Magic? That would be dope. <laughs> <laughs> One of the cards, luckily, is Kyrion Ranger. Oh, and no. what Kyrian Ranger says is I can return a forest I control to its owner's hand and I can untap target creature. I can only use this ability once each turn though. So I'm going to do that exact thing. I'm going to return this forest and I'm going to untap Karametra's Acolyte. I'm going to play Elvish Arc Druid. And oh. what that says, other elf creatures I control get plus one plus one. And I'm going to add, I can add an amount of green for each elf I control. I'm going to pay two mana to play Lightning Greaves. It's an equipment, everyone knows it. Equipped creature gets haste and shroud and I can equip it for zero. I'm gonna equip it to Mr. Arc Druid over here. And I'm gonna tap for five mana because he has haste. Now I'm gonna unequip it and equip it to the Kyrion Ranger just for now. So I can tap this Wirewood Lodge, pay one, and untap Mr. Arc Druid. So, I have four floating. I'm gonna reattach Lightning Greaves to the Arc Druid, and then I'm gonna tap it for five more. So I have nine floating. But then, I'm gonna tap the Karametra's Acolyte for 13 mana, so I have 22 floating. And with 22 mana, I'm gonna play Genesis Wave <laughs> for 19. Oh my god. So you just get to flip 19 cards? Yeah. If they're permanents, they're right on the battlefield. All right, let's see it one by one, David. Let, let's see. You, the you might have this game, buddy. Make some space. You're going to need to <laughs> yeah, some you things out. Yeah, you better space it out. I might make some room on my board. <laughs> you know, here, let me. He'll take over the whole. <laughs> we're all getting beat by a teenager. All right, let's go. One, Boreal Druid. Okay. Two, Fraylis, Yanor's Fury. <laughs> Two, uh, three, Benefactor's Draw. It's an instant, so it goes right in the graveyard. Three, or er, four, four, Argothian Elder. Five, Return of the Wild Speaker goes to the graveyard. Six, Nykthos, Shrine to Nyx. Uh, seven, That's gonna be limitless forest. mana, dude. Cause he can give these haste, oh, it's a bad. I Nissa, who stuff. shakes the world. Ooh, fun. More untapping lands and creatures. Worldly Tutor, so number 10. Forest, 11, Forest, 12, oh. Umbra Mantle. That's infinite. 13, Guardian Project, 14, Nissa Genesis Mage, 15, Shamanic Revelation, 16, Forest. Oh, that's right, that goes in the graveyard. 17, Force of Vigor goes in the graveyard. 18, Priest of Titania. 19, Findhorn Elves. They all enter at the same time, so I think that's gonna trigger. Right, so I have four creatures entering the battlefield. And so, because of Guardian Project, and they all have different names, I'm going to draw four cards. And Guardian Project. And are you going to pay me. for those four cards you draw? Let him get it. What do you care if you have infinite mana and infinite Sure. Yeah, yeah, okay. Tulane still has summoning sickness. He can't do anything. I can block. Yeah, you can block. Well, there's going to be a lot of blocking to do, so yeah. be ready. Yeah. <laughs> he at least has indestructible, but if he tramples it out, yeah, what is exactly. that? I just drew my four cards there. He drew four hand. cards. I got my four treasures. These are all lands, so we'll deal with those later. You got your Planeswalker dice. Umbro Mantle comes into play, and what Umbro Mantle says, equipped creature has pay three, untap this, this creature gets plus two, plus two until end of the turn. So I'm going to attach that to my Karametra's Acolyte. Then I'm gonna tap two forests, which give me four mana because of Nissa who shakes the world, and I will untap Karametra's Acolyte. Now, what this is gonna allow me to do, make infinite mana because I can add a lot 
from my devotion and pay three to untap it. So how much is your devotion right now? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Ooh. 21, 22, 23, 24. So you have 24 devotion. So I'm gonna add 24 green mana to my mana pool by tapping Karametra's Acolyte. Okay. I'm gonna use three floating 21 <laughs> to untap Karametra's Acolyte and give this Karametra's Acolyte plus two, plus two. Infinitely tap and infinite make this- mana, infinite mana, and infinite power to all his creatures. And so you're gonna, well, you're gonna do this. Does that just, pump, that can only pump once? Yeah. yeah, it makes the base power five. He can five. use this to equip to every creature and give every creature infinite, infinite power, power and power. untap him. Three to untap, and when it untaps, it gives plus two, plus two until end of turn. So he's creating 24, floating 21, giving plus two, plus two. So he'll create millions of mana, then equip that for zero to every single creature. Okay. Use those millions of so mana. So he's basically having, his creatures are basically like one million, one million. I'm gonna untap everybody with Umbral Mantle, giving them all infinite power with my infinite mana. And then I'm going to plus this, make a druid. So here's my 1 1 druid from Fraley, Sienor's Fury. I'm going to put another 1 1 uh, loyalty counter on Nyssa and untap this land and put three 1 1 counters on it. And but that land has haste? That land has and haste. Vigilance. So he can and give vigilance. that infinite power as infinite well. Infinite power as well. So everything An just extra attacker. Imagine everything has infinite power. Uh, these infinite power. <laughs> infinite power <laughs> and toughness. These cards have summoning sickness. Can't attack with them. Very sad. Now I'm gonna go to combat. I'm going to attack you with an infinite, infinite Kyrian Ranger. I'm sure of that. But you, I'm gonna have to attack with six creatures. But you can destroy my equipment. I have one, two, three. I have three creatures I can block with. I mean, he I does just, have food chain out there. If you get, yeah. if you let him untap, he's probably gonna win. I will not. <laughs> I'm gonna attack you with four creatures, the Fierce Empath, the Anwar Elves, Allosaurus Shepherd, and the Forest, which are all infinite infinites. I'm gonna start by responding, Mike, if you don't mind. Go ahead, you can respond. I'm gonna tap three. You have priority in the response. I do have priority. And I'm gonna give you a generous gift. Destroy that target permanent and give you a 3-3 three, three green elephant creature token. My son, what a frivolous attack. <laughs> In response, I am going to get rid of um, four treasures, which will be a total of eight mana, so I can pay into Cannon's ability. I rev look at the top five cards. One, two, three, four, five. All right, I have the top five cards. I can put a non-human into play. I will go ahead and I'll put a Priest of Titania into play. These will go on the bottom in random order, so I randomize it. I have one floating mana left. Priest of Titania will come into play. I'm going to, my aura shards will trigger and I'll blow up your infinite maker. I'm gonna, just because I'm still scared, I had one floating, so I'm gonna get rid of these two, which gives me four, so I have five and then I'm gonna lose another one. So that's seven. So I'm gonna again do it one more, activate Kenan's ability one more time. I'm going to play Hull Breacher to stop you from, uh, from doing it. When Hull Breacher, Breacher comes into play, I will blow up your Greaves. Okay. These go on the bottom of random order. Two, four, six, eight. So I'll, I'll leave one treasure left, and I'll have one floating, and I'll do Kenan's ability one more time. Put in a Leafkin Druid into play. Um, do you have any more enchantments? Or I uh, yes, I have card. the guardian. What does that do again? Uh, whenever a creature enters, cards. I can draw cards. I'm gonna let that happen because I have that. I'm gonna blow up your exploration off my aura shards trigger. Now four blockers, so I will, I will block with these four. I believe they all die and my creatures all stay alive. Yep, so these all die. My Chulane stays alive, my Hall Breacher stays alive, my Kinnon, and my two little dorks. His valuables. And I, pa <laughs> I pass. Well, it's my second main phase. Second main. So, I'm going you to- You almost had that, David. I did. I'm gonna tap this for two green, okay. and tap Nykthos to add an amount of devotion, uh, add an amount of any color to my devotion. So, I choose green. And Karametra's Acolyte, for 23 mana each, which will add 46 mana because my devotion is 23. Okay. I'm going to uptick 
Nissa Genesis Mage to seven, and I'm gonna untap two target lands and two target creatures. Let's do the Yanawar for fun. Okay. Zero mana, just for fun, I'll cast a Jewel Lotus. I'm going to, for five, I'm gonna have 41 floating, play Guilt Leaf Arc Druid. Oh my god. I'm gonna, whenever I play a Druid spell, I may draw a card, but Hull Breacher won't let me do that. So instead, I'm gonna tap seven untapped Druids I control and gain control of all lands target player controls. So before you do that, Guardian Project would trigger. He's gonna give me a treasure. I'm gonna play Summoner's Pact, and I'm gonna search my library for a green creature card. And that green creature card will be Crater Hoof Behemoth. Put that Crater Hoof Behemoth into my hand. Just save it for later. I'll tap seven creatures uh, through the Guilt Leaf Arc Druid, and I will t take control no. of all of your. <laughs> yes. No. I'm yeah. not the one to do that to. Well, I don't want his planes. Yeah. I don't want these planes. I don't want those planes. And he's worried about your foretell card. I, I think we're all worried about your foretell card. But I'm now not. we don't have to worry. You guys should have been grateful for my foretell card. Hopefully it was a board wipe. Doesn't matter what it was. It's not you're a right. zero yeah, cost. Right. I'll cast Yavimaya Elder uh, for my last, for three of my 41. So that would trigger your guardian project and I get another treasure due to Hall Breacher. Sadly. Okay. And then, with all of that mana in my mana pool, I will pass. And it all goes away like that. I will draw a card for turn. Are you going to pay for Smothering Tide? Oh, <laughs> that's cold as ice. Oh, that's the <laughs> ice. <laughs> How rude. I guess you won't. I guess you I'll won't pass pay for the Smothering turn. Tide. <laughs> Go ahead, Joe. Untap. <laughs> Untap. And Are draw. you going to pay for Smothering Tide? No, I'm not going to pay for Smothering Tide. Okay. Player planes. I'm gonna tap that planes for a Golden Glow Moth. It's a flying zero one. When he blocks, I may gain four life. And uh, Lynch, I'm gonna, I'm gonna poke, poke the bear. You are seven away from two, death. Three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. All right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna jazz hands this into existence. <laughs> all right. I'm gonna draw a card for turn. Untap all my my board state. I'm going to tap my birds for two. I'm going to tap a forest for one. I'm going to lose two life, and I'm going to cast Phyrexian Metamorph, which will trigger Chulain Teller Tales. I will draw a card, and then I may put uh, a card from my hand if it's a land in the battlefield. So I'll put on this island onto the battlefield. This will hit the board. I will copy Regal Force. So Regal Force says I may draw a card for each green creature I control. So because he's Regal Force, that's one, two, three, four, five. I will draw five cards. One, Two, three, four. Uh, I will use my option of I'll just I'll destroy that that first because I'm gonna have more creatures. I'll to sacrifice play. it. Pay one green, and I'm going to cast an Elvish Mystic, which will trigger Chulain. I will draw a card, and I can put a land onto the battlefield. So I will go ahead and put a forest. I will also use that to uh, blow up the uh, Guardian Project. It's sure. been helping you so it's much. It's been helping you. <laughs> I'm going to pay one white, and I'm going to Enlighten Tutor. Hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and search for some things. I'm gonna go get Intruder Alarm. Oh boy. No, stop. Intruder Alarm goes on the top of the library. I'm gonna tap this for two. I'm gonna tap to, uh, him. I can, I can respond to Not that. to mana. This is all man abilities. It's a special action. Um, I'm going to uh, pay one green, and I'm going to cast. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm going to cast Seaborn Muse. On the cast trigger, I will draw a card. Now that trigger, so the cast trigger, the trigger. Is that on the stack. You can respond to that. Okay. Card. Wait, put the card back that you drew? All right, so. In response to you casting Seaborn Muse, I'm gonna tap one white, and I'm gonna path to exile. In response, I'm going to tap this for two blue. I will tap one green, and one uh, blue, and I will Mystic Stake. I will cast him to flash it in to counter target spell, so I'll counter that. A valiant effort, Joe. Try so Try I have it. two triggers in the stack, so I draw a card because of him. I put a land into play. I will shock it in. 
I will then, because I have another creature that hit the battlefield, I will draw a card, tap this for blue, use uh, one treasure. I will cast Intruder Alarm. I will pull off two treasures, take me down to two. I will cast uh, Eternal Sc uh, Scourge. So says you may cast him from exile whenever he becomes a target of a spell or ability, opponent controls, exile it. Because I cast him, Julian will trigger, I'll draw a card. I can then put a, a land from my hand onto the battlefield, so I'll play the land. Because he enters the battlefield, then Intruder Alarm will trigger, so I'll get to untap all my creatures. Wait, don't you just have infinite mana now? Well, what I can do is I can remove him from the game using food chain, so he will get exiled, so I'll have three mana in my mana pool to cast creatures. I use the mana food chain because I can cast from exile to bring him back. That allows me and to draw a card. And then I can keep exiling it through food chain, recasting it for the, for the three. I can leave one, I'll draw everything minus one card because I probably would have put some lands into play. Let's just, I'll just tap those two lands. And I could tap that, and I'll cast Lab Man. If you draw a card, because I cast Lab Man, That's the I will then draw a card to Chelaine, Teller of Tales. That's it. What a I blame you, David. <laughs> I blame you. <laughs> that was the poor wife we need. Oh, and I could have kept on yeah, tapping. Yeah, could have kept, yeah. It would have kept giving me a, a, a mana. Infinite mana. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. And if you like us that much, join our Patreon. Hey, we play a lot of games with our patrons on our Discord, where we've created a really fun community. So hopefully we'll see you on our Discord playing some magic. We have new play mats, we have t-shirts, we got a lot of cool merch coming out. So there's plenty of ways to support I Hate Your Deck, whether it's through Patreon, or buying our merch, or play mats. And our ultra sleeves. Get that merch! What's up guys, we want to send a special shout out to all of our sponsors. Shout out to Carsphere, where you can buy, sell, and trade MTG cards. And shout out to Dragon Shield that has the best sleeves, and we got our custom sleeves right here, and perfect fits, and deck boxes, and play mats. <laughs> also, shout out to Alter Sleeve. They will hook you up, definitely. If you want to bling out that deck, hit up altersleeves.com. We'd like to thank this month's sponsor, Jeffrey's Comics at Heidi Ho. A uh, place where you can get comic books, buy singles, Magic Seal Project, support your local LGS. Support your local LGS, do it. Time for the Patreon shoutouts. Ryan Pavlik, Jed Bread, Jesse Holmes, and Joe F. Thank you guys for being our Tier 3 and Tier 4 patrons. We give shoutouts to both our Tier 3 and Tier 4 patrons. And for those that don't know, our Tier 4 patrons every month get a custom sleeve from Alter Sleeves. It's something that me and Joe work with an artist together to bring you something special. So thanks to all the patrons, but one of the benefits is we give these special random shout outs. Thank you guys for supporting us. We really appreciate it. Your support is what helps us continue to be able to make this content possible. And we look forward to keep getting better every episode. Thank you guys. Intro and outro music by Hollow Brooks. Background music by Sakura. I hate your deck.